So here at the LG booth, this is the this is the third generation L series, right? That's correct. Yeah, we launched the first generation in 2012, the second last year in 2013, and these are the new range. This year has been slightly rebranded though. Rather than called, for instance, L32, they're now called, for instance, L40, L, uh, L70, L90, etc. We also have L35. So uh, 35. This is 3.2 inch. Yeah. So for instance, this handset, 3.2 inch IPS panel. It's got a 1540 milliamp battery, a three megapixel camera at the rear. We also have, for instance, latest version of KitKat running. It's a dual SIM unit. This is only going, obviously, though, in certain markets. It's not going every single market. Why not? Um, as because we, we make so many different variants, certain markets require a certain specification, so we try to tailor make it for each region. So this one, for example, has an antenna right here, because it's Korea, That's right? correct, yes. So there would be a TV uh, antenna here, but that's only Korea. Only in Korea, yeah. The reason why is because in, Korean, um, in the Korean market, they do push quite a lot of mobile TV. At the moment, um, it's pretty much just based there, so unfortunately, we only have the aerials in them units. And here you have the 4-inch. Is that 4-inch? Yeah. Actually, this one's 3.5 inches, only slightly bigger. So obviously, going up from the, the, the L35 to the L40, you're going from a 3.2 inch screen to a 3.5 inch screen. Factory is slightly bigger as well. I mean, we do make two variants. So you've got a 1540 milliamp, and you also have a 1700 milliamp. Camera the same size, though, at 3 megapixel, and also using 4.4 KitKat. We also now offer a feature called Knock Code. So if, for instance, rather than doing a pattern or a pin lock, we can now simply tap on the unit, four different areas and you'll activate the phone straight away. Now the benefit of this is if you're in you do a pin or a pattern lock you've only got 10,000 different algorithm options. With this it gives you up to 86,000 which is a huge difference. Okay. More secure? Much more secure. Much more much more convenient and uh, so much more secure. But how uh, precise is it? Do you sometimes miss the unlock and stuff? No not at all. It's the same actually it's the same um, variance whether you do it on a bigger screen or a smaller screen. So you can if, if you if I set the pin lock for instance that 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 there it doesn't have to be there, it just has to be that sequence. So I could do it there, for instance, it would still work as well. Nice. So uh, let's get up in sizes. Of course. So if we're going to this side, we've now got the L70 and the L90, which is the more premium range of the L series. The L70, still got a 1.2 dual core processor, but straight away it's got a 4.5 inch screen, which looks much bigger than the previous handset. 2100 million battery, so you get much better battery capability. 8 megapixel camera rather than 3 on one of the other units. We do make again two variants though, so we do make a 5 megapixel unit and an 8 megapixel unit again depending on which market you go into. We have a 4.4 update, pick that obviously on every single LG phone here today. And it's, again it's a dual SIM variant depending on which market you go into. And they're all super smooth. Very. Due to the processor speed and the RAM as well, um, it's so reactive, there's no lag time whatsoever. So this, also is the, this is the Qualcomm 86 or 8210 or 8610? Yeah. Again, varying depending on which market you go to, it has a slightly different processor. But yeah, it's a 1.2 dual core processor. Nice. So okay. If we go slightly up the range now to the L90, the first thing you notice straight away is one, it's much bigger screen, but also the spec is much stronger. So we're going from a 1.2 dual core to a 1.2 quad core processor, which means the actual multitasking applications are so much quicker and so much stronger. 4.7 inch screen device, we've actually changed this as well to a QHD screen, which means you get a little bit better clarity. Battery, 2540 milliamps, which means you're going to get fantastic battery life. And again, we've got two different camera sizes, an 8 and a 5 megapixel, depending on what mark you're going to. You notice the back's more textured, that's just going to be a nicer feel. And again, we have the same knock code frequency as we do on the other units, so you can, for instance, just go straight into the unit by doing a series of codes. And again, you can do from between two knocks up to eight knocks, depending on which unit you have. And uh, you have more. We have more, of course we do. So we've got other products around the corner, such as G Pro 2. So if we go around here... We have some G Pro 2, but you have more L-Series. We have more L-Series. We have, for instance, L65 first, which is a step in the gap between sort of L40 and L70. Good thing about this model, slightly smaller screen, because obviously some markets demand it. So if I pick this one up, for instance, you'll notice it's still got fantastic screen quality, but a slightly smaller screen, so not 4.5, but 4.3. Very, very similar spec though, you've got a 2100 million battery, 5 megapixel rear camera at the back, dual SIM variant, as with the majority of the handsets, um, and again, you get the knock on, the knock code technology as you do on the others. So, in, for instance, if you want to activate it, just simply do four knocks and it's straight to the product. Much more convenient than doing a pin or a pine and trying to activate the unit. So, here at the Mobile World Congress, uh, you're launching basically six new L series, right? We've got several new L series devices, and we also have them going on to sort of G Pro 2. Um, and we also have an F-Series range as well. 
Uh, is it the first time you show F-Series or is it...? We actually launched F-Series last year in 2013, but we're now doing the updated versions. Um, so slightly better spec, um, but you're still getting the 4G capability. Check them out. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna come over this way. We actually have two variants of the F-Series, we have the F-17 and we have the F-90. Obviously slightly different spec, the F-70 is slightly less spec than the F-90 but you still get a fantastic specification. So straight in away, 1.2 dual, uh, 1.2 quad-core processor, 4.5 inch device, so you're still getting a huge screen. Now the main difference between the F-Series and the L-Series is 4G capability. The L-Series is our 3G mass market units, the F-Series is more all affordable 4G units. Um, you still get a fantastic spec and you still get all the same features such as the knock-on variants as well. 5 megapixel camera in the rear, 24 40 milliamp battery, and again using KitKat, the latest possible update. Dual SIM? Um, this unit is actually not dual SIM, no, it's So the 3G ones are all dual SIM? No, certain 3G ones are dual SIM, yes, because of the market capabilities, but the, the actual 4G units are just single SIMs. And uh, here's... Uh... Slightly less, right? 90 no, the F9 is actually slightly higher. higher in spec, so straight away we're going from a 4.5 inch to a 4.7 inch device. We're actually getting a huge battery in this unit as well. It's the same size battery as what we launched in the G2, which is 3,000 milliamps. You get fantastic battery performance. You also get an 8 megapixel rear camera, 4.4 Android KitKat, and what you'll notice in this device is our quick window cases. Now, what the main benefit of these is, it allows you to minimize the display if you use certain applications such as music, clock, and weather more conveniently rather than having to unlock the phone every time. Okay. Nice. Uh, so the L and F series is uh, LG's uh, mass market. The L series is our mass market range. The F series is more of our affordable 4G entry market level as well. So uh, it's been already pretty huge, you know, the L series. The L series so far has actually done 45 million units since we launched. 45 million exactly. units. Exactly. It's actually a huge number. It's uh, really huge. Yeah. And so now it's just accelerating, I guess. Yeah, we're hoping to go obviously exceed that number in the next coming years. So all these prices are going to be really good. The prices are fantastic. One thing you know about LG products is you get true value for money. They're a, they're a fantastic spec at affordable prices. Like the L series on the market now are like below 100 euro, some of them? Depending on which market you go to, yeah, they are they're quite affordable. 